Becky and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do my beauty favorites for January and there'll probably be some throw-ins from the end of the month of December since I didn't do one in December. I didn't do very many of these last year because I wasn't buying anything new as much last year as I have been in the past couple of months but I am going to slow down for February. I said I was going to do a no buy. I don't know that I'll say it's it's going to be a very 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 low buy when I say a very low buy, I'm gonna try not to spend more than $50 on anything beauty in February. I don't know of anything right now that I want other than that bomb if it comes out from CeraVe, but I haven't seen it anywhere. So I don't know if it's just gonna stay over in Asia or what's gonna happen. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. It's just a habit, a nervous tweak, tweak, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, we're going to get started, and this is in no particular order, and I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to rank them or anything like that. I don't do good at that type video. I'm just going to tell you things that I've liked this month. Some of these things are not new, new. Some of these, these things were new to me, and I'll try to tell you that as we go on. I'm not putting any skincare in here. The skincare will go into a separate video that I'll film later in the week. Okay. We'll uh, first talk about some lip products, and then we'll go from there. We'll finish up with foundation since that's my kind of my, I think I'm more of a foundation guru than I am anything else. So, <laughs> and lips is right there though with it. Okay, lips wise. Okay, I had purchased all of these BK Beauty lipsticks, and there was a couple more, but I didn't bring them out here. These all are great. Now, some of these colors may not be for you, some of them are not really for me because I am not a nude wearer. I've got to have some color. I tried to wear a nude yesterday and I made the picture and everything and I'm sure it looked fine, but for me, it just didn't look like me. But anyway, I can't really see these colors because I don't have my glasses out here. But anyway, I'll um, list them all below and know that this is a beautiful formula. It is very buttery. It's not matte at all. And I think most everybody would love these colors and love the formula. It, you know, makes your lips put, look better, makes them feel better. And I don't see how anybody could go wrong with any of these lipsticks if you wanted to purchase them. You can only buy them, of course, from the BK Beauty website, which Lisa J Makeup, if you watch her here on YouTube, it is her brand and they are great all the way around. Another thing that I don't have out here with me is the collab with Angie Hot and Flashy, the brushes. Those brushes are great. Now at first, I didn't really reach for them because I also had those blinged brushes, which is also great. And they're both very much alike. It's just the handles are different. And you know, some of the brushes are, are different. There's more of the blinged brushes than they are Angie's. Angie's is more of an eye set. But they are both great brushes if you want synthetic brushes. I do not. Okay, lips. Okay, the BK Beauty lip liners. Another thing, I do like these, but as you know, I prefer lip liners that sharpen. These just roll up. See, they're, it's, they're beautiful. I've got them all somewhere. <laughs> you know, I throw them around in my purses when I switch around, but this is, let's see if I can read this one. Pink Lady. It's very nice. I will say that. The pinkier, the probably the more I like them with the way my hair is right now. You know, when I get my hair colored, which I'm, I am gonna get some hair highlights put in it or just lightened up some to kind of more into, I just need somebody professional to do it. I've been doing it on my own now for three years probably. I want somebody professional now to fix it. Not that I think it looks that bad and she said it wasn't that bad. She said there's just a couple places that she could tell that, you know, that it's a box color. So anyway, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> I know I need to move on. Okay, the other lip products. Okay, the one I'm wearing today is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Lucky Lips, and this is in Enchanted Blossom. These are. This is the formula I like from her. Is the skinny tubes like this? I like these much better than the matte ones. The kissing ones I like too, but the Lucky Lips is my favorite. So I will hope Charlotte is not gonna discontinue this line. I don't think she is. I think she's just bringing out new colors, but I, I really wish she would formula of lipstick. 
Okay, these new Milani fetish, I have the mattes. This is the, you know, the bright pink that I like, fuchsia, whatever you wanna call it. I'll list the color below, because I can't see it. <laughs> But I'll, it, everything that I'll try to, that I'm showing, I will try my best to list it below, if I can find it. Now, if I can't find it, I'll still list it. If, you know, if it's not available, I do link. I do link everything. It is an affiliate link, just so you know. It's not for me to make money. You know, if I make money, fine. If I don't make money, fine. I just know, as a viewer, I prefer the links to be down there, because that way I'm hard of hearing. And sometimes I don't hear exactly what a person says. So I want the link below. Like I said, doesn't matter if you if you don't want to use my link, that's okay. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, so I said the Milani's. I've got another one in here. Let me try to get to it real quick. In this case, this is one of the matte ones. I believe this is secret. Can't really see. No, it's not secret. Yeah, it is secret. This is secret. This is one they say is a dupe for Pillow Talk, the first original Pillow Talk. I don't have that one with me. I don't know where it's at, but I'd say it's pretty close. This is it. So if you don't want to buy Pillow Talk, buy Secret. And it is hard to find. The only place you can get some of these lipsticks right now is on is either in the store or online at Milani. Now, Walgreens, my Walgreens had a good selection yesterday, but I know Walmart does not here. So they're getting picked over. They're getting really popular on TikTok. But the fetish line, I've not tried the bombs yet, to be honest, but I've got several of these in the, the matte line. And I do think they're a great formula. They're not as drying as most mattes. And you can put a bomb on it and they'll last a long time. For the money, $8.98, I think is what they are most places. They're They're definitely worth it definitely worth it. Okay, do I have any more lip products? I'm going to talk about, yes, lip products. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about, and this is upstairs in the bathroom. I just got the box. This is the Christian Aldette, Lisa Duncan collab. You know, one of the best lip liners there is out there on the market that I have used. I'm not going to say it's the best one ever because I don't, I mean, I know there's probably something I've not used. So, but it's the best I've ever tried as far as lip liners. I'd also have nude sandals that she did with them. They're great. There's She has tweaked the formula just a little bit from what it originally was to where it's not quite as drying, but it still lasts. And I tell you, it lasts. You know, I could put it on my hand and swatch it here and it would take great effort to get it off. And my, my cat sneezed in case you try to say my dog, because he sounds like, when he sneezes, he sounds like a dog. <laughs> so anyway, the lip liner, the lipstick. This is Golden Hour. Of course, you can see I use it over a lot of lipsticks. Again, great. I also have Merlot that I just recently bought. Great, great lipsticks. Can't go wrong. And he's coughing. I apologize. My cat has asthma and he's coughing and I'm not going to stop the video. <laughs> but he's fine. He just coughs. So, sorry about that. He'll be all right. I give him meds all the time. He'll be all right. Okay, well, let's move on to some powders. Of course, the one I love is the Dior No Powder powder. This is not the right color for me, I will say, but I make it work. When I order another one, I will go lighter. I use it with a sponge. It's, let's see if you can see it here on my skin. No, you can't, it blends in with my hand. You know, I guess it's the right color. I just feel like I want a lighter color for whatever reason. This is shade three, three in. I think I want two in or two fair, whatever it is. <laughs> I think that's what I want. But anyway, this is a great powder. I think it works best if you use a sponge or a puff. I don't think it does that well with a brush for me. Now, if you have a, a real animal hair brush, it might work, I don't know. But I think it works better with a sponge just to press down and I don't think I'll ever be without this powder as long as it's made. It is $40, but I think it's going to last a long time. I don't, I don't use that much of it. Now, if somebody is really oily, they might use more, but I don't use that much of it. So it's not, 
I think it's gonna last a long time for me. Other powder that I love is this Jaclyn Hill set. That's what it looks like. Uh, four colors. I use mostly the pinky purple one here in the corner to set my under eyes when I do set them. I don't set them every day. It just depends on what I'm using. Today I use Maybelline Age Rewind as a concealer, so I did set it. I usually have to set that one. So this, I think, is a win-win. You know, I've not had any issues with any of Jaclyn's new products. I really haven't. You know, I'm not going to put the conceal. I do have her new concealer and skin blur. I'm not going to put those in here, but they may be in for February because I have not used them enough to really give you a... So far, I'm loving them, but I'm not going to say for sure yet that it's a favorite because, you know, all of a sudden I might not like them. <laughs> but so far, good. Okay, uh, another powder. This one has been on the market forever, but I've never used it till this uh, December. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, Femstar Bronze and Glow. I have the lightest one, and I just use this as a contour, and I use the other as a highlighter. Don't use that highlighter as much, but the contour, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, let's talk about eyes. Only one eyeshadow palette that I really bought, I think, in the past few weeks, and this is this Wild from Wild Jaguar from Huda Beauty. Now, I know this is getting hard to get. I don't know if she's phasing it out or if it's, you know, got to do with the, you know, the pro problems we're having with ingredients and packaging and stuff with getting them, but it's hard to find. I can only find it right now on the Kohl's Sephora site. It's not on the regular Sephora site, but this is the Smoke or the Smoky Obsessions or Wild Obsessions. <laughs> uh, and this is Wild Jaguar. So I guess it's the Wild Obsessions. Anyway, this is a great cool tone palette. There are some neutrals in there. I'm a cool tone girl when it comes to eyes. So this has been a winner. I love Huda's eyeshadow formula. I do, I think it's great. Okay. Uh, okay, now my eyeshadow sticks. Ah, oh, shoot, I should've known I'd drop one. <laughs> Of course, this is Lisa's and Christian Aldette's Chris, uh, Birkin. This eye, eyeshadow, it does not come off. I mean, you can put it on there and it, it may wear off some, but it doesn't, it doesn't move until you want to take it off. You know, I mean, if you work 24 hours, like I said, it might wear down. I mean, I've usually got my makeup on at least 12 hours a day. You know, I try to, and I'm going to talk to you when I get to the skincare about certain things, but anyway, I try to take it off as soon as I get home, but anyway, this is Naked Birkin. I love this formula. Please, if you watch this video, Lisa or Christian Audette, bring, out, bring some more colors in this. I'd love to have at least three colors. If you want to know what I want, I'll tell you. <laughs> But this is the best formula I have found. I think this blows the Laura Mercier out of water. And the other one that I like that y'all heard me talk about forever is the ones from Beauty For Real. Now I got this in, I wanna say an Ipsy bag, I believe. May have been BoxyCharm, but I believe it was an Ipsy bag when I was getting Ipsy. And this is the second one. Now I, the other one's still going fine. I just wanted to order a backup because you know me, I'm afraid on certain things. And these I knew that would last. These don't go bad as fast as some things do. But this is in All Day Latte, I believe what it is. Yeah, All Day Latte. It's, I don't have it on today. I wore this, the Smoke palette, Wild Jaguar. I keep saying Smoke, it's Wild Jaguar. But anyway, this is the color that one is. It's kind of a plum, but I, this is, this one and this one are my two favorite. I don't know if they're made in the same factory, but I, I have my suspicions. I have no idea, but they're pretty close as far as formula. So those two are my favorite eyeshadow sticks. Now I have bought others. I bought some from ColourPop, did not like them at all. I bought um, 
you know, the NYX shadow sticks, I've never had any luck with them at all. They always smear, they always end up all over my face, except for the the white or the cottage cheese, the colors, so I just can't, cannot ever get them to work. Now the Milani ones, I've got a couple of them, but they'll, if I like them, they'll be in February, but so far so good on those. And the Juice Beauty ones are okay, but they're not my favorite. I would, I found some at Marshall's that I bought, plus I had ordered one I won't buy any more of those because I could go with, right now, I could go with this one and the Beauty For Real and I'd be happy. So, but I just would like to see, I don't know, I just like trying different ones. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, the Laura Mercier's are fine, but I just think these two of the formula just blows them away as far as lasting power. Because I do have oily eyelids. And for whatever reason, I do, and you know, that just kinda makes it go all out. Now, this video is getting way too long. Okay, we'll talk about mascaras just real quick. Of course, the one that blew me away this month besides the Thrive, and I didn't bring the Thrive over here, was the Telescopic from L'Oreal. I'd forgot about this. It's just a great all around mascara to use with any kind of formula out there. If you need some length, need some lift, it's just because of the tiny brush. I think everybody should have this in their arsenal. I do. Just to, you could easily carry this in your purse and touch up during the day. All right, let's move on to foundations since we're two here. here. Uh, one primer I want to bring up is this Jaclyn oil primer. If you have dry skin, I think this is great. Now, it's very similar to the Smashbox primer oil, but I just like, I don't know, maybe I'm partial. You know, I, I hear some people say I'm a Jaclyn Stan. I'm not a Jaclyn Stan. I know she exaggerates a lot. <laughs> I'll put it that way, but it's her products. She should try to sell them. If she didn't try to sell them, nobody'd want them. There's a little bit of a scent, but nothing great, but I don't know. I like this one better than a Smashbox primer oil. I don't know why, but I do. So, and I have it on today with what I'm wearing. I'll tell you what I'm wearing here in just a second. All right, foundations. Of course, you know I love my, did I bring it over here? Nope, yeah, I did. I mean, this is probably, right now, my holy grail. I would say that I don't want to do without. This is the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know why people say it settles in their lines. I've got lines, it don't settle there. Maybe it's because I'm, little oily. I mean, I'm not oily, oily, especially right now with, we're having a winter that we've not had in a few years. It's not the coldest winter we've ever had, but it's, it's colder. But so I'm having just a little bit of trouble and I started having some dry patches when I was using that, that copper peptide stuff. And so I'd done away with it and I thought, well, I'll use it in the summer. So anyway, uh, I really think this is the foundation for me may not be for everybody. It is pricey and I know the bottle don't stand up, but I've gotten used to it. So kind of like it because it don't stand up. <laughs> okay. Now we'll get on to other foundations that I've tried this month. Okay. These are the two Dior's. I tried both of them. I tried the Skin Glow and the Matte. Of course, I prefer the Matte. They are mixed together today using that oil primer and I mixed in a little bit of the I don't have it over here. I thought I brought it. The New York Colors white mix-in for foundations. You know, it's just a bottle of white liquid that you lighten your, uh, and I probably need to buy another color, maybe the cool color to maybe make it just a little bit more cooler. Cause even though that says that's cool, it still looks warm to me. The, the darker shade that I have, you know, I wished I went lighter on it, but anyway, it is what it is. It'll work fine in the summer, but it's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the mixture of the two today. Okay, the probably the best foundation that I tried in January, as I said, the Lisa Eldridge was mostly December, is the Chanel. The shell number one de Chanel. Uh, Red Camellia Revitalizing Foundation. I am in BR22. I think this can work on 
oily and normal to oily because that's what I consider myself having is normal to oily. I, I said oily. It cannot work on real extreme. It can work on extreme oily, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to be careful with it. I'll put it that way. It will work on dry skin. I still think that it's almost, if your skin is extremely dry, you may want to use a moisturizing primer like this or the Bobbi Brown face base, the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. If you're going to the drugstore, a primer that I like from the drugstore is probably the Neutrogena glowy one. I can't remember what it's called. I've never, I've not tried the Revlon that some people talk about. But anyway, you might want to do that. If you want this, this foundation is pricey. I mean, it's $70. It's the most I've paid for a foundation ever. So I know not everybody needs this or even wants it. If you don't want to spend, you know, the $70, I get it. It's just, I love foundations and I love trying them out. And there's probably something else I want to show you, but I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh, the blush. I didn't show you the blush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Blush. Of course, I know this has been out forever, but still, it's new to me. I don't know what I waited on, but anyway, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Just great all around product. And I guess that's it for today. I know it went over longer than I wanted, but you know, I have a lot to say about products. I get excited about them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with another video soon. Talk to y'all later. Please subscribe if you haven't and click the thumbs up. Talk to y'all later. Leave me a comment. Bye.